When they say black love, I can't shut my eyes. I won't turn my back. He says a lot of nothing and leaves me there. I wish he would replace the silence with words, but I get the gist of his meaning in my pen. Better words are gathered there, reminiscing about fantasies of what could be, about what never is, remembering what was the moments of exquisite pleasure. It depends on chance, whether we come upon it or not. I can't shake the memory of our brown skin melting together. I can't shake the kisses he placed on my shoulder, how deep he went inside, causing me to call out from the bottom of my belly. Disrupting my carefully placed composure, I've become wild for you, snarling and biting, scratching and howling. I dream of that animal state. Pray I go back to the homeland of my body. There my soul roams free. In the areolas of my breast, I want to be magically pregnant. I want to make love with intention, birthing, blossoming, bountiful. Nothing cinematic, but something. Scored with the sounds of our pleasure and laughter, echoing and mirroring the delightfulness of an enjoyed union. He says a lot of nothing. He speaks poetically in the silences that persist, ongoing rumblings of cyclical desires to formulate, ideas that probably won't come to fruition. Better ideas are manifested in my pen, so I write. I write what is uncommunicated. I write what I wish I know you would say. Had you been brave enough to look inside my heart and see it breeding to the cadence of your own? I write because I have no fears of my desires. I write because I've touched my body and found fruit inside. I write so I can create what I know is true, yet never was. I write as wide as my hips expanded to rock on top of you. I write with the invisible ink that leaks from my breast the breast that your mouth sweetly sucked. I write in spite of you. I write because of you. I write, I write. Better meanings are gathered in my pen.